Hey y'all, this is just a little video, not a big one, just an update basically. Um, I've uh, been avoiding the hot weather with the airbrushing. Uh, last time I did the video, the um, customers came over and they had a look at their, uh, their bike parts and uh, they were pretty happy overall, but they made a, a short list. Um, I'm sure I put it in the last video. And they just wanted a few adjustments here and there and, um, you know, wanted me to, you know, add an extra bit on the front of the front guard. So I've done all that. Uh, I was, I didn't video a lot of it because I was on a deadline. They, uh, my customers have got a new job and instead of finishing the job and having them come over and pay me uh, last week, they had to fly out a bit earlier. So it was um, two days earlier. And they just said, look, we're, f we're having to go to work early, so take your time. There's no rush. So I, uh, with the weather and, you know, with other things to do, I had the dentist and all sorts of other stuff. I thought, no, I'll put it down, shelve it for a bit. Um, the job's almost finished, almost finished. So I'm hoping tomorrow or the next day uh, to, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'll just uh, turn the camera around. But I did the uh, little bit of scenery on the back guard of the dove and the crosses. I've uh, corrected the lettering as the customer wanted. I did black in the lettering. And I've done little corrections on the emblems, the army emblems on the side. Plus I've tapered the uh, poppies up into the horizon on the sides as they wanted. And sharpened the uh, soldier on the left. Tapered on that side to match and little adjustments to that emblem as well. So I've uh, chopped my way through the shortlist quite well today, but not finished yet. I've still got uh, to rub this back on the front there, front guard, and uh, do that bit of art. And I've got the medals to finish off and the lettering on there. So. What I don't do today, I'll uh, pick up again tomorrow morning and get it done. So as long as I get it done by Tuesday, so they can come up hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, have an inspection, hopefully the final inspection, and if they're happy, then they can throw some money at me and um, take the tins away to get clear-coated. So I showed you just a moment ago, the back, uh, going to the front of the front guard. Now they gave me a little cartoony type picture and it was uh, the two rifles with the two hats on the top, the two Australian flags and the two poppies. So I've basically done my version, a better version of the picture on the front of the guard. So you got that one, and you got that one. So that just leaves for the finishing part of the job. They wanted me to do in memory of on the side cover, as you can see here, maneuvering the camera. So I started lettering. I don't know if that's what they want, but uh, I've got to do a line below that with um, the grandmother's name. So I'm thinking I might sketch it on paper and scalpel it out and, you know, sort of make it a bit quicker and, try and do some sort of nice font but uh, I've got the medals pretty much where I want them maybe a little bit of tweaking up to finish them and that's all I've got to do with the job just this this being the last bit uh, with that bit done and I've gone over the job I've gone over everything on the short list done everything else that's pretty much what they asked me to do so 
next day or two I'll be getting stuck into this. So once again I apologise for not filming all of this, the process, but um, like I said last week I was on a deadline to get the job done. I just wanted to you know, get it finished, get it back to the customer and get paid. But because they flew out early and told me to take my time, and then we've had a few hot days, I just basically put it down. I've been putting my attention into other things. So um, probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll finish the job off. Hey, guys. Well, uh, I've shelved the airbrushing just for a couple of days. It's been a bit too hot. Um, so instead, I thought I'd get cracking on my son's ute. So uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit about uh, where I'm up to and I've, I've yesterday took the axle out or the, the wheelless hub, uh, hub assembly I should say. I've got the new one ready to go in. Um, that's today's job so fun fun. I'll show you what I'm doing um, quickly and uh, then I'll get into it. So that's what it looks like now. I took the old hub assembly out. It was on hold for a while. You can see that uh, circular part in there where the CV bolts up to the diff. We actually had a, a bolt that was, um, it was pretty stripped. It was buggered. And uh, didn't matter what tools we used, we couldn't get it out. It was um, stuck in there pretty good. Um, but I ended up going to a tool shop and buying um, kind of like a socket set but an extractor set and you, you hammer the socket onto the bolt that's buggered and um, basically uh, get it off that way so I've done that yesterday I got to here and as you can see got the old bent up bit there that was a, a task to get out so today's going to be not much fun and here's the one I've got to put in. So basically I've got to uh, get my hand out of the way. I've got to get that bit and that bit bolted in first. Then I want to get a jack underneath there and jack it up slightly and connect up the uh, shock absorber and the spring and all the brakes and everything. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get into that. And then hopefully, if not this afternoon, then tomorrow morning, I'll be uh, getting back into the um, airbrushing. So I've got the uh, hub assembly sitting in here. Oh boy, what a pain this job is. I've got the big jack holding that up, the, the ute up. And I've got a little trolley jack under the hub assembly. And i kind of got it where I want it. So it's roughly in place. But the problem I've got, uh, and I'm going to have to... Um, start on this fresh tomorrow in the morning because I need an extra set of hands and there's only me at the moment but you can see right where get my finger there this bit here that has to bolt in first but the problem I've got here oh, excuse the wobble I'll get underneath here get my fingers out of the way too the problem I've got is I've got the bolt here that's meant to go in there and bolt that way and the nut on that end um, but General Motors being the clever bastards they are excuse my French is in here where you're meant to put the bolt right in there 
you've got a small space that's shorter than the length of the bolt which means to try and fit the bolt in the bolt is on an angle which is ridiculous to try and get it in the hole so basically what I'm going to have to do and the only option is to pull this thing out again and get this hub on an angle so pull the whole thing sort of back that way and try and slip the bolt in on an angle there's basically no other way to do it if I get that bolt in the other side's not going to be a major problem and then everything else the brake line there there's two lines um, the um, coil the spring goes there got the shocky to, to hook in and of course I've got the CV to hook up to the axle this elbow joint here and the handbrake so everything's just waiting on this one bolt here and I censored out as I promised all of the um, swearing and cursing so I uh, I did a bit of that off camera but a sore knee but I'm good so we'll get into it we'll get this job done but it's just a pain in the ass so tomorrow morning my friends coming around and we're gonna have another shot at it but once that's done I'll be able to chuck the wheel on there I'll be able to let this thing down off the jack and she'll be mobile again I'll be able to start it and run it and put it in the shed I'll be able to get it up on the hoist and uh, want to inspect underneath to see uh, if there's any other damage I'm I don't think there is get my finger in the way I don't think there is but uh, as I showed you in a previous video it did a little bit of damage to the front it basically ripped the whole bumper off and of course there was a bit of movement in this corner so there's a bit of a gap there a bit of separation so I'm gonna hook a cable there and I'm gonna pull this that way and uh, hopefully that'll um, give me about half an inch to an inch clearance um, if I can get all the bolts to line up again shouldn't be a problem it's just cosmetic um, but mainly I want to look underneath see what other damage there might be and uh, I was going to put an HSV front on this but my son decided he wants the um, standard front so he's got to buy that and then we've got to get the color mixed up and uh, yeah and uh, get it back to normal so basically everything's dependent on getting that one bolt in there to get the thing started so uh, what I'll do is um this was more or less just an update video I'm gonna focus on getting this done tomorrow um, pending the success of getting that bolt in the rest of it should be straightforward after that and after that then it'll be the airbrushing back to that finish that job that should be probably an hour an hour should you know see me right with that job um, and then if I'm right I've got another Harley to paint so um, and my bike to finish too so there's a bit to do so we'll be back to the airbrushing soon and I'll be finished with the boring stuff here uh, hopefully tomorrow but anyway as usual please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe hit the subscribe button and there'll be more videos coming very soon thanks for watching see ya